This is my studio. We're going to take a line for a walk, 360 degrees in a moment. It's part of a tutorial on how to free up and how to look. Right, I'm going to start at the top left-hand corner of my studio and I'm going to start over here with the lamp that I use quite often for when I do portrait sittings, um, when I light the face in a particular way. Again, I'm, I'm keeping my pencil or my pen, whatever you choose, actually looking at what I'm doing, what, following the contours and the shapes of the forms that I see. And as I'm doing that, I'm noticing things around me. I'm noticing the negative and positive shapes that are created, the shapes of the paintings behind everything. And I've got this nice big roll of bubble wrap here, which I'm going to include. And then the windows. I'm not going to draw every single bit of the window. I'm just going to sort of suggest that they exist because I'm more interested in the detail of the stacked up pile of masking tape that I've got. These are all kind of personal objects that you'd find in any studio. But obviously it's a personal space and I do configure things in a particular way. We've got a nice big painter's easel here. Not easel, palette should I say. I've just done an easel around the corner. And a series of paintings on the wall behind. And then there's some radios over here. I'm not keeping it completely accurate. But I'm now interested in the shape of the table here. And I've got a nice big plant a slightly scraggy plant that I took from the living room that I sometimes use um, to sort of break up um, the form that I'm looking at. And as I'm drawing, I'm noticing sights and sounds. I can hear the birds outside. I can hear my daughter get, getting food prepared in the kitchen, which is adjoining my studio space. Again, it's a very personal space. It's where I concentrate, as I'm doing at the moment with this drawing. I'm quite interested in that pink box I've got here with all my toolkit in it and I'm moving around I'm going to keep adding to the table it's not in perfect perspective but I'm looking I'm trying to synchronize my looking with my hand action so I'm spending more time looking at the objects than I am actually looking at Okay, I'm just swiveling around a bit and I've got the bookcase. I'm letting things overlap a bit because the way we see things is not always very straightforward. Sometimes we see things in a way which is from odd angles. So I'm actually exaggerating the shape of the bookcase here. And I've got my sink coming in in the corner. And I've got some elements of my painting experiments over by the sink. Okay, I can smell things in the kitchen at the moment so I'm not just experiencing this the actual visual I'm experiencing things in the kitchen so again I'm keeping it very free and loose I'm working my way around I think I'm going to miss out a bit of detail around here because I've got some cotton wool here that I use to to wipe surfaces and to apply paint the doorway to the kitchen and I'm working my way around here my bookshelf and I've got my painting of my daughter in the corner here. It's a slight angle, it's called the Changeling. It's quite a personal but important painting to me. I'm just gonna draw it quickly just to show that there's a figure in here. Notice I'm, I'm just drawing loosely. I'm mostly looking at the, the figure itself and the outlines and the contours. And I'm creating this sense of what I got around here. Because it's 360 degrees, I'm realizing I'm running out of a bit of space so I'm gonna carry it round and that's my little desk apparently and I've got my laptop just here so I'm quite enjoying it tilting off the surface and I'm having to just take a bit more control so I'm coming round here and I'm twisting it around and I've got the end wall here and what's in front of me here which around the corner is another portrait commission I'm doing at the moment which I think I will add I'll, she's slightly truncated because it's at an angle so I'll just sort of get her long flowing blonde hair in here and make it look like as if she's looking over again keep it sort of I love portraits and I like these wire sort of portrait drawings that you can get they're very free and open and then I'm going to keep going around here and I've got a lovely paint splattered stool that I sometimes sit on if I'm trying to get a particular angle 
And on there, there's a sketchbook, a very personal sketchbook, because I used it when I did the drawing of Julia Donaldson. And I keep coming around here, and I've got a whole stack of paintings that are all in bubble wrap. I'm just going to stack them up here. A stack of paintings. Now, these paintings I recently put up in a show, Head Boy, Head Girl, at the light box. Anyway, I think I'm coming to the end. I might finish it off with a flourish of a paintbrush here. So I'm keeping it quite loose. Thank you, that is it for now. And if you zoom back, you, you'll be able to see a very kind of crude, but lively drawing of my studio. Okay, thank you. This is my studio. We're going to take a line for a walk, 360 degrees in a moment. It's part of a tutorial on how to free up and how to look 